Hi, I'm Diane Poole Heller, and I'm here to talk to you about my book, The Power of Attachment. This is a really exciting topic for me and I think for everyone because it really is looking at how to demystify some of the complexities that happen in our personal relationships, especially with our partners. It certainly affects parenting and colleagues at work and friendships and even our relationships with strangers, but really centers in to how we enter into our adult relationships. Coming from attachment in early times between the toddler, infant, and our caregiver. And we're deeply influenced by that. It kind of creates a relational blueprint or a template that we draw on that kind of infiltrates into our adult relationships. But the difficulty is it's largely unconscious. So we don't know how much we're influenced by our history. And a lot of that gets in the middle and in the mix with our adult relationships. So we're really looking at how to build a bridge back to secure attachment, which is when our parents were pro-social, they were comfortable with us, they were playful, very present, protective. They were comfortable with us when we wanted to wander off on our own or when we wanted to cuddle and connect. Uh, they, there was just this ease in relationship. Insecure attachment includes a pattern called avoidant, where parents were either just not present, maybe on their human journey they had unresolved trauma, who knows, but they weren't really able to show up. Another insecure attachment pattern is ambivalent, where there's on again, off again parenting, uh, there was love and affection and parents did show up, but then they unpredictably sort of dropped the ball. The third type of situation that can arise is called disorganized attachment, where one of the parents was frightening. Maybe they were yelling and in the worst case, they might have been abusive, where there's fear mixed in with the attachment system. So you have two really strong biological instincts, one to connect to your primary caregiver and one to get away if the person feels scary or sometimes the parent is actually scared themselves. So what we're trying to do in the book is find out where the original pattern is, but then help the person have specific skills and specific techniques to move back towards secure attachment. What's important in understanding attachment is that you don't take things so personally in your relationships as an adult. You realize that a lot of what's happening is coming from early relationship patterning that may not have so much to do with what's happening now, and you're able to sort that out. Usually I'm teaching professionals on how they can help their clients uh, work with these issues. But of course, learning how to have more fun and enjoy more enriching relationships is part of the human journey for all of us.